the moment we all look forward to telling our partners that we're HIV positive. Yay. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Diana and I was born with HIV. Welcome to my channel where my goal is to help those who are positive and to help educate those who are negative. For today, we're talking about something so exciting and that is how to tell your partner that you have HIV because this is just so much fun and not anxiety inducing at all. <laughs> Yeah, and trust me guys, I know it really sucks. Like it sucks, 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 sucks that we live in a society that is so ignorant on such a topic that it becomes our job, our responsibility to figure out how to tell someone that we're HIV positive. If it were the other way around and they already knew everything about it, then we would never have this problem in the first place. We wouldn't be scared to tell them. Uh, we wouldn't be scared to disclose our status. We would be avoiding situations where we might tell them after we had sex and then we're even more scared in that instance. Trust me, I feel you guys, it really sucks. I wish it were the opposite. On top of that, these tips that I'm gonna share today probably will help anyone with any STD, but let's be real here. Telling someone I have HIV has a different cling to it than I have chlamydia. Can we all just like agree on this? Like everything we've learned in sex ed, it makes it look like HIV is the worst thing ever and you're going to die. So maybe you were just diagnosed with it and you're going through this, um, my life is over, I don't know what I'm gonna do, how am I ever gonna date again? Like, how do I tell anyone that I'm HIV positive? Will they love me? Will they accept me? And you're so scared and now you're worried. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. It's just like one extra hurdle, one extra challenge that we have to deal with. Once you tell them, it's pretty much the same. Relationships end for many, many other reasons other than telling your partner that you're HIV positive. So don't worry, I got you. I compiled some tips. Uh, they're from experience. I asked a lot of my HIV negative friends what they thought, like how would they want someone to approach them with this HIV status and whatnot. I just also want to say like I am only dealing with the how to tell someone that you're HIV positive and not exactly the when because the when is a different story and that will come later. Those depend on different scenarios. Like, I mean, dating someone is totally different from a one night stand and it's not like you can take your one night stand to a 3 a.m. picnic and tell them everything in a very non-sexual manner. So yeah, I mean, at least I've never done that before. I will just say one thing on the when, just tell them before sex because you will avoid problems later on. All right, so here are my tips on how to tell your partner that you have HIV. Let's go. Tip number one, know your information, okay? Because chances are they don't know anything about HIV. They were probably never exposed to it. The only thing they know is what they learned from school. So they're totally clueless on what this thing HIV is. And you will be the first source of information. So if you don't know anything, how do you expect them to know anything about it? So make sure you have your facts straight, make sure you read up, make sure you did your research, know what your viral load is, know what it means to be undetectable, know what the whole U equals U campaign is, know the results of the partner study. Just basic things like this will really go a long way because they will be asking you questions. And it's going to be very painfully awkward if you don't have the answers to those questions. Now, I'm not saying you have to know everything, but just having a good basis is really a good start. I think it's also really useful to just have some like facts or numbers um, on top of your mind. For example, uh, did you know that in the US there are currently 1.2 million Americans living with HIV? That is roughly one in 300 people. Or I live in Germany, so I know that in Germany there's roughly 90,000 people living with HIV, which I believe is one in 1,000 or so. So just knowing something like this is just something to keep it light and interesting. And usually what I do, I have this really useful link that I'll have in the description down below where it really summarizes the partner study in a very easy and understandable way such that if I get nervous with the numbers or something, I can quickly pull it up and be like, oh, hey, yeah, this is what I was talking about. These are actually the numbers, et cetera, et cetera. Also, the very nice thing about this website is it comes in a lot of different languages. Like you can find, yeah, English, Spanish, Russian, Polish, German. I think it's still a little weird. There's no Italian. I'm not really sure why. So if you're trying to go for an Italian guy or something, like I guess you're gonna have to learn the language to explain to him what's going on. 
To wrap it up, know your information, be ready for questions, and nothing is sexier than knowing what you're talking about. Tip number two, be confident. I cannot emphasize this enough. Own it, come in strong, know exactly what you're talking about. When you come in with confidence, people will just follow you and trust everything you're saying. This is just life advice in general. I mean, if you are spewing BS and you come in confident, people will just follow you and listen to you and you'll still be heard. And don't get me wrong, I know this is a very hard tip because confidence just doesn't come overnight. You're going to have to practice, you're going to have to mess up, and you'll have to build on this confidence. I said confidence a lot here, so I'm trying to make a huge point here, and I'm really trying to emphasize that confidence is super, super important. Not gonna lie, your first time is going to suck, but you'll learn, and you'll get better and better and better. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what a bad example might look like. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hey, Chad, we need to talk. I need to tell you something. And I'm really scared and nervous to tell you, but I, you have to know this. And oh my God. Okay, I'm really freaking out. Um, I'm HIV positive. Okay, cut, 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 cut. First off, telling anyone we need to talk freaks them out and they're scared of what you're about to say. So that will never work. So many other things wrong with this. You're already victimizing yourself. You're already giving them a reason to feel scared, to feel fearful, to not really understand what's going on. The more you dramatize it, the more they will be dramatic back as a reaction. If you're cool, calm, collected, you know, totally chill, then most likely they will also respond in the same manner. However you present it is how they're going to perceive it. Don't put too much emphasis on it. Don't make it a bigger deal than it actually is. Moral of the story, just be cool, okay? Be cool. All right, all right, all right. Tip number three, keep it short. Just get straight to the point. Do not delve into your whole life story. Ain't nobody got time for that. This is what's going to happen. They're just going to hear HIV and black out. So you only have a few precious seconds here to get in the most important stuff. So this is where you kind of need to prioritize what do they need to hear and what do they want to hear. They need to hear, I have HIV, I take medication, I can't give it to you. The last thing I just mentioned there, I can't give it to you. This is the thing that they're most fearful of. Like, am I going to get it if I have sex with you? And that's what they want to know. Once you get this sentence out of the way, that's when they might start asking questions. They might start asking, well, how did you get it? Or what's the whole story behind it? Um, tell me more. I just always come in prepared, assuming they're going to be shocked. And I just need to tell them point blank, this is what you need to know. As an example of what not to do, this is what I had written years ago. It is so cringe, but I will share it with you a little bit. It is like a novel. I was born with HIV. My mom acquired it a few years before meeting my dad from one of her boyfriends. Unfortunately, she had no idea when I was born and she didn't find out she had it until she was pregnant with my sister. She didn't just have HIV, she had AIDS. Growing up with it was interesting. I Guys, always took care this of my literally sounds like a Dear John letter, okay? Like, no one is dying here, all right? So don't act like it's a huge deal. Thank God I never actually spoke it to the guy because he wouldn't let me essentially. He was so chill about it. But yeah, anyway, like don't do this, please. Don't get me wrong. I'm a letter writing kind of girl. I do enjoy the letters, but this is not the time. All right. Just keep it short and sweet and then let them ask you more about your story. Tip number four, practice, practice, practice. Have your spiel ready. I don't care if you have to write it down somewhere, if you have to record yourself on your phone, if you go in front of the mirror to practice, even use your friends as guinea pigs and practice on them and see if they liked what you were saying. Personally, what I do is I wrote down everything I wanted to say and then condensed it. I also recorded myself to see how my voice sounds. Like, do I sound scared or do I sound like I know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this tip. There's not much more to it than just practice, practice, practice. And I think it's just because this tip takes the previous tips and puts it all together for you to do the hard work. Practice makes perfect. What more can I say to that? And last but not least, tip number five, be prepared for any reaction. I think the saying, expect the worst, but hope for the best really holds true here because 
you don't know how anyone is going to react to this. You don't know what kind of exposure people had to this. And you really need to put yourself in their shoes. I wish I knew this earlier personally because I grew up with HIV. It is so normal to me. And that's what I expected from everyone I told. I just assumed they'd be totally okay with it. Uh, yeah, I quickly learned that's definitely not the case. Uh, great. But yeah, it's not like every day they come into contact with someone who is HIV. Like, it's so unknown to them. They don't know how to react to that, whereas it's so normal for you. I mean, how would you react if someone told you they were HIV positive and you had no clue what that even means? So naturally, they might be in shock, they need to think about it, they need some space, and they need to just digest everything. Please give them the space. I cannot stress this enough. I wish I knew this earlier. Also, don't make them feel bad or don't make them ashamed that they are in shock. It's just an initial natural reaction. Only get mad at them if they're still being really rude, disrespectful, and disgusting a week later. You don't need that kind of person in your life. Thank you, next. Right, so every situation and every person is different. So there really is no one way of telling someone that you have HIV, which makes it more difficult for us. You kind of have to read the person, how chill they are, you know, how educated they are on the subject, etc. And of course, I totally feel you. The more you're emotionally invested in someone, the more your emotions are at stake, everything feels like it's on the line because that rejection is going to hurt personally a lot more than if it was just some rando that you're like, hey, I have HIV and they're like, oh, I don't want that. And you're like, okay, cool. Well, have a nice life. And if they reject you and say no in the end, you have to respect it. It's their choice. Whatever you do, don't run after them. Trust me, please don't. You're going to look psychotic. It is not a good look, but... You know what? You live and you learn. It happens only one time to all of us. So experiences, am I right? <laughs> yeah, of course the rejection sucks. Like no one wants to be rejected, especially for something you can't even control or change. But you just never know. Like maybe they'll come back in a few weeks or a few months. Like time is a really funny thing. You'd be surprised by how many people might come back. Wait, I just want to add a quick disclaimer. I feel like I'm putting in a lot of hope there. Uh, just assume they rejected you and don't be hoping they'll be reaching out to you in a few months or something because that's not always the case either. I just realized all my reactions were like really bad poor reactions but the thing is there's a lot of good reactions too. I just don't have many tips on that because <laughs> there's no problems with those and you don't have to deal with it. It's just okay it's good now you can enjoy yourselves and like have fun and continue on in the relationship. All right, so those were my five main tips for you guys. And I actually have some additional things I wanted to share with you, but they're a little bit smaller and I wrote them down. So here they are. Okay, the first one is really distinguish between HIV and AIDS. You'd actually be surprised by how many people think they're the same thing. Just make sure the person knows they're completely different. Next thing is be sure to tell them in person if possible because this way you really see their body language, how they're reacting to it live. They can see you as well, like how you're presenting the information. The communication is just a lot better. Try to avoid texting as much as possible. I know that's not always the case. Better in person, video call then, a phone call, and then texting if you really need to resort to that. Then the next thing is know your target audience. And what I mean by that is, for example, for me, I know I'm going to be telling heterosexual sexual guys like this is my population of the people I need to tell I have HIV and I know it's going to be different telling this population than someone from the gay community in the SF area so just keep this in mind who you're telling and whatnot all right what is the next thing I have so many for you guys it just doesn't stop <laughs> Okay, so I mentioned it before of when to tell someone. Another reason why it's good to tell them before sex, it's because if you think you're really scared and anxious now before you even have sex to tell them, trust me, the feeling only gets worse after you have sex with them. And on top of that, you're just going to feel guilty and ashamed and you really won't know how to tell them and get out of the rabbit hole in this one. I, it feels like you've already dug up your grave and you're ready to get buried in it. So best practice is just to tell them beforehand. Okay, so yeah, so something else I've noticed that I thought was interesting and I wasn't really expecting was a lot of guys would also ask, um, how did I tell other people or like, how were my experiences with it before? And I find it a little too personal because it gets into the sex life a little too much. But I think what they're trying to get at is were past partners okay having sex with you knowing that you have HIV? So I think you have to kind of like twist it in the sense, um, 
ensure or reassure your partner that they're okay if you have sex with them because previous partners were also okay with it. Something else that's good to reassure them is tell them that you're taking care of yourself, you're taking your medication, and also tell them why you're telling them that you have it. Like It's because you care about them and you want to share this with them. And that will make them feel good that you're so comfortable enough that you're willing to share this information with them. Last thing I'm going to mention about all of this is you really need to accept that you have HIV. Because if you yourself cannot accept that you have it, how are you expecting anyone else to be able to accept it? And it will really show that you're not okay with it or you haven't dealt with the situation yet. I don't know what else I wanted to say about that. Just be comfortable in your own skin, love yourself, and it will propagate through when you tell them. I want to say that's pretty much everything. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing some points here and there, but it's so hard to compile everything together. So let me know in the comments if I've missed something and you could help someone else out with this. This is just what I follow and what my friends told me would be good. I'm gonna spoil you guys a little bit and I have a little sneak peek of what I would probably tell my partners. Okay, I gotta prepare myself a little bit. Okay. Oh, hey, by the way, I wanted to share something with you. Oh yeah, what's up? Okay, so I'm HIV positive. Don't worry, it's not AIDS. I was actually born with it and I've been taking medication for it ever since I could remember. And because of that, I can't give it to anyone, which means that if we were to have sex, I can't give you HIV. And yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Let me know if you have any questions or something. Okay, honestly, uh, yeah, I never know how to end it without being awkward. And to be honest, I actually never really know how to begin it or go along with it. Uh, yeah, it's just like, you gotta rip off the bandage, just do it, like, <sighs> it sucks, but you just gotta do, do it, it, you know? Just just pull it, just do just it already. do it! And it'll all be over, and then you can talk about it, and then everything will be okay, or not, you know? Like, the sooner you do it, the quicker you do it, the faster it'll be done, and you'll get it over with. So I hope you enjoyed what I would say. My secret is out now. <laughs> I'm exposed. As some words of encouragement, if you're about to tell someone, don't forget how awesome you are, know your worth, be strong, hold your dignity high, like you're amazing and don't let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? You got this and yeah, like go get them, Tyga, ride them. And I really hope it works out because once it does, you'll just realize how much you were building this up in your head for nothing and it was so much easier than you thought it would be and that's actually a really glorious feeling too. Okay, I hope these tips are super helpful and if I'm missing something, please let me know because that would actually also help me, so I would thank you. And what else? Oh yeah, for my when videos, uh, comment below what kind of scenarios you would want. Like, I already know like one night stand, like when do you tell them? Do you tell them at the bar, in the taxi ride, or right before you're in bed? Like what happens? Or dating wise, like when do you tell them? What date do you tell them at? Do you tell them in public? Do you tell them in private? Etc. Etc. So yeah, just let me know in the comments section below which ones you guys would be interested in discussing and talking about and watching. I guess that's it for now. So I will see you guys next time. Ciao! Yeah, so I just finished filming and then I realized, wait a second, given the current situation, I'm not really sure if a lot of us are meeting new people. So yeah, but you know what? That just means we have more time to practice our spiel, right? Am I right? All right, bye.